guys, today we have a brand new Minimates review. Today we have the Marvel Minimates San Diego Comic Con 2017 exclusive Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man and Adrian Toomes. Alright, so we have the one exclusive Minimate for San Diego Comic Con. So, I, I, I was honestly a little disappointed with the excuses for Comic-Con. It was mostly Venomates and this. And there were a couple of comic books that had like a Minimate cover, but this is the only Minimate exclusive. So that's a little disappointing. But it's from Spider-Man Homecoming, so that's cool. In this set we have Spider-Man. It's a variant of the normal Spider-Man. This time he has his mask up so you can see his face partially, and Adrian Toomes, a civilian version of the Vulture. I, I don't think they actually ever call him by his name in the movie. In fact, I don't ever remember them calling him the Vulture either. So it's a Toys R Us exclusive. You could only get it at the Entertainment Earth booth or on ToysRUs.com, which is where I got mine. And it was $6 to ship this thing. Hopefully it was worth it. So packaging-wise, you got Spider-Man, Minimates with interchangeable parts. Comic-Con exclusive, Toys R Us exclusive, Sp Spider-Man, Adrian Toomes, Spider-Man again. Then different artwork from what's in the package. Then mix and match parts. There's no, like, bio. It was like that on the uh, Wave as well. There's there's no bio, just a fig picture of the figures. But you can see Spider-Man does come with food and stuff, which is, I mean, that's pretty cool. And you can mix and match parts. So, neat. Uh, I, I'm really excited for another version of the Vulture. Spider-Man, eh, but he does come with some fun accessories, so I'm looking forward to that. Let's begin. First up, we have Spider-Man. And here we go, it's, it's Spider-Man ag again. Yay. So, this is Spider-Man with his mask half up open. I think he had his mask on like that maybe two or three times in the whole movie. There was one scene towards the beginning where he was eating and he was like sitting on top of some apartments and he had his mask up halfway. So there's that. And comparatively, here's Spider-Man next to Spider-Man. And it looks like they are exactly alike. I'm not seeing any difference whatsoever. I think this one might be a slightly lighter shade of red. That may be my lighting doing a trick on me, but it's Spider-Man. If you have the first Spider-Man, you have all of them. If you have the other Spider-Man, you have this guy, just with a different face. So, detail-wise, it's really good. It's, like I said, the exact same as the other Spider-Man. Fairly clean detailing going down his torso. You got the little spider, then some black highlights. You can see his chest block leads into his crotch. Then there's a little splotch of red right here. I think that's the only paint mishap I have. Other than on his foot, feet look nice. Unfortunately, they don't wrap up around the whole way. Some arm detailing. He's got his web shooters. On the back, we got the spider logo, and it is, yep, still the same as the other one. I just looked at it. Really, the only thing different with this guy is his face. And I mean, it's it's a cool expression. I think it's neat having just a different kind of look to Spider-Man. I wish, like, maybe he would have came with a Peter Parker head or a normal Spider-Man mask with, like, the squinted-in eyes. Because, I, I don't know, it's it's kind of disappointing that this is our Comic-Con exclusive Spider-Man with a slightly different mask. But he kind of makes up for it with his accessories. So, articulation-wise, I mean, he can do everything. And accessories, this way stand. Since he's from New York, he comes with a slice of pizza. It's a reuse of the Ninja Turtle pizza, and he can just... Slap into his hand like this. Also comes with a cell phone. It's not a smartphone, it's got a keyboard. It looks like a Blackberry. So you can pop that on. You can call people and talk. But more importantly, 
He's got the hamburger and soft drink piece from Jewels of Pulp Fiction. Aw, yeah. This, this is awesome. I love seeing these pieces come back. I think just being able to eat and drink on a Mini Mate is so cool. Ah, so nice. I think, if anything, I'm going to pose him with the pizza and the cell phone because these hands are going to Deadpool. Oh, and he also comes with a uh, web line. Overall, Spider-Man is a really basic variant, but he has some cool accessories. Next up, we have Adrian Toomes. Okay, so we have a Vulture variant, and it's actually different from Spider-Man, so it's instantly a pretty cool figure. At the beginning of the movie, we do see him working with a construction team. Um, I'm not going to get into spoiler talk or really talk about the movie that much, because maybe people haven't seen it and they want to be surprised, because I feel like if I say anything, people are going to be like, a spoiler. So, I will say he's just wearing a uniform. It looks nice. You got it sort of unzipped. Really nice touches. He's got his glasses hung out on string, and they're on his torso. There's really not much to it. Very simple. Nothing on his back at all. Then he does have Shane's hat from The Walking Dead. And I think this is really cool. So it's black on one side and a light gray on the other side. Got his white hair. Looks nice. And then underneath you can see there's a Michael Keaton face. This one is much less angry. This one is a much more stern, like, normal face, which is kind of weird, because usually I'd expect the normal face on the normal one, but this is the face that came with the other one. And yeah, so it's just a different expression. I'm glad it's a different expression, because I'm not a huge fan of the one on the Vulture. Just kind of a weird grin. So it is nice. Then articulation-wise, Adrian Toomes can do everything. Nothing is really in the way at all. And accessory-wise, a display stand. Then, I, I think this is kind of cool. He comes with an alternate torso, a jacket piece, and arms, as well as an extra hair piece. So, you can turn him from his uniform to a civilian look, which kind of plays into spoilers later in the movie. But, if you're like me and you have way too many Minimate pieces, so, with the extra parts, here's what I did. So, I took Adrian Toomes, then I took the Vulture, and I took off his head, I actually replaced it with a Halo Marine, leaving the extra Vulture head free. So, then I took that, then I grabbed a pair of spare hands, then I grabbed an extra pair of legs. And that stuff just came from my collection. So really, you could technically get three figures out of having Adrian Toomes, the Vulture, and just some random parts. Because then you can take all of your pieces and you get an extra, <laughs> you get an extra Vulture. Neat. Or you can just swap the pieces with this one. That's up to you. I will say on mine, though, his hairpiece is actually cut. Like, it's unevenly cut as if it didn't get fully molded. But yeah, e extra figure, I guess. Cool. Overall, Adrian Toomes is nice, and if you have extra pieces, you get a free figure. So overall, that was the Marvel Minimates, San Diego Comic-Con 2017, Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man, and Adrian Toomes. I, I think this was a decent Comic-Con exclusive. I don't think it was anything great. And eh, eh it, it's neat. It doesn't really feel that great of a set. Mainly because I already have Spider-Man. And I already have the Vulture. I think it is cool getting a civilian Vulture. But at the same time, this is our only real Minimate exclusive. We had a bunch of Minimates and we had some comic books that had a Minimate cover, but this was it. And I think it's nice that they include some extra bits, like the hands for Spider-Man and the alternate look for the Vulture, but I don't know. I think it needed more. I think what they could have done was given 
Spider-Man, the academic decathlon jacket. It's just a yellow jacket. That would have been nice. Give him Peter Parker face. Give Adrian Toomes. I'm not sure what they could have given him. I think the vulture... I think the extra look is nice. So if they just took that and applied it to Spider-Man, would have been great. But, I don't know. That, that's just my only real idea what they could have done with the set. Maybe they could have made it a four-pack? But I know there's a whole thing where it's cheaper to do a two-pack to a four-pack, and it probably sells better at a convention, and this is probably all they could have done since it was a Toys R Us set. So, if anything, thanks Toys R Us for getting us a Mini Maid exclusive. Anyway, I do like the pack, and I, I would say if you really want it, I do think the Vulture is great. It's a cool-looking figure and a nice alternative to the suited version. But if you want to pay $6 shipping, eh, that's up to you. I'll leave the link in the description. And that's just what I think. So let me know what you guys think. Check me out on social media. And if you like the video, well, then rate, comment, subscribe, and like. And I'll see you later.